hello students welcome to mr study and welcome to my class today i am going to discuss a new formula topic that is equivalent mass concept how to find the equivalent mass of a molecule or a substance clear so first of all tell me what do you mean by equivalent mass equivalent mass yes equivalent mass of a substance is defined as the part of that substance by mass which combine or displace directly or indirectly 1.008 parts of hydrogen by mass eight parts of oxygen by mass or 35.5 parts of chlorine by mass when equivalent mass is represented in gram it is known as gram equivalent mass this is a simple thing it is known as gram equivalent mass again i am uh, again i am repeating the definition equivalent mass of a substance is defined as the parts defined as the parts of that substance by mass which combine directly or indirectly or displace directly or indirectly 1.008 parts of hydrogen by mass Eight parts of oxygen by mass and thirty-five point five parts of chlorine by mass. When equivalent mass is uh, represented in gram, it is known as gram equivalent mass. Clear? Yeah. Now the next one is number of gram equivalent. If anyone asks you how to find the number of gram equivalent, yes, number of gram equivalent is equal to given mass upon equivalent mass clear given mass upon equivalent mass one more thing equivalent mass is of any substance is not fixed equivalent mass vary as per the situation but molecular mass always remain same of a particular compound or a molecule clear equivalent mass vary but molecular mass always remain same and the relation between equivalent mass and molecular mass we know molecular mass is equal to n multiply equivalent mass this is the important formula by using this formula you can find the formula of any compound if molecular mass is equal to n multiply equivalent mass and what is n there is n the value is a integer value changes 1 2 3 not 0 1 2 3 4 dot 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 to infinity depending upon the situation got it this is a general expression of equivalent mass now the thing i am going to discuss how to find the equivalent mass of uh, a substance like uh, acid base and salt and oxidizing and reducing is in the simple thing is first of all equivalent mass of a salt uh, pardon equivalent mass of an acid okay the formula is equivalent mass is equal to molecular mass upon n what is n here n is number of replaceable h plus ion mind it n is equal to number of replaceable h plus ion now the thing is it is also known as basicity it is also known as basicity now suppose if i take a example for example if i take h3po4 if i consider h3po3 or if i consider h2po4 all are acids now how to find the equivalent mass of h3po4 look at if i draw the structure of h3po4 there are 
थ्री हाइड्रोजन विच इज डायरेक्टली अटैच टू ऑक्सीजन दैट मीन टू से द मैक्सिम बेसिसिटी इन दिस केस इज थ्री सो इफ कंप्लीट डिसोसिएशन कंप्लीट बेसिसिटी देन इन दिस केस द इक्वेलेंट मास ऑफ एच थ्री पी ओ फोर इज इक्वल टू मॉलिकुलर मास ऑफ एच थ्री पी ओ फोर अपॉन थ्री बिकॉज थ्री हाइड्रोजन आर देयर विच कैन बी रिप्लेस्ड नाउ इफ आई कंसिडर एस थ्री पी ओ थ्री दैट इज पी ओ एच ओ एच एंड देन एच इन दिस केस टेल मी द इक्वेलेंट मास यस इक्वेलेंट मास विल बी इक्वल टू मॉलिकुलर मास ऑफ एस थ्री पी ओ थ्री अपॉन टू वाई नॉट थ्री बिकॉज देर आर ओनली टू हाइड्रोजन विच इज डायरेक्टली अटैच टू ऑक्सीजन दैट इज ओनली टू रिप्लेसेबल हाइड्रोजन आर देयर सो डू नॉट कंसिडर दट ओवरऑल नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन प्रेजेंट कंसिडर ओनली विच आर रिप्लेसेबल एच प्लस आइन सिमिलरली एस टू एस ओ फोर एस टू एस ओ फोर इन दिस केस वी विल राइट इक्विवेलेंट मास इज इक्वल टू मॉलिकुलर मास ऑफ एस टू एस ओ फोर अपॉन टू बिकॉज इन एस टू एस ओ फोर टू हाइड्रोजन इज डायरेक्टली अटैच टू ऑक्सीजन क्लियर यस सर इट कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड लाइक दिस एस टू एस ओ फोर ओ एच लाइक ओ एच टू रिप्लेसेबल हाइड्रोजन आर देयर नाउ द थिंग इज एज पर द सिचुएशन अकॉर्डिंग टू द सिचुएशन सपोज इफ आई टेक एन एग्जाम्पल एन ए ओ एच प्लस एच थ्री पी ओ फोर फर्स्ट इट गिवस एन ए टू एच पी ओ फोर प्लस एच टू नाउ इन दिस केस दे आर टू फाइंड द इक्वेलेंट मास ऑफ एस थ्री पी ओ फोर इक्वेलेंट मास इज इक्वल टू मॉलिकुलर मास ऑफ एस थ्री पी ओ फोर अपॉन एन एन इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ रिप्लेसेबल एच प्लस एन पुट थ्री इज इट करेक्ट नो दिस इज कंप्लीटली रॉन्ग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल चेक आउट द रिएक्शन इन दिस केस एस थ्री पी ओ फोर कन्वर्टेड इन टू एच पी ओ फोर टू माइनस नॉट पी ओ फोर थ्री माइनस मीन्स देयर इज ऑनली टू इट रिलीजेज इट रिलीजेज ऑनली टू हाइड्रोजन नॉट थ्री so in this case the equivalent mass will be equal to molecular mass upon 2 not 3 consider it these are the things suppose if i write here naoh plus h3po4 now they ask you to find the equivalent mass of the h3po4 after the reaction that mean to say suppose the reaction proceed like this it forms na3po4 plus h2o now tell me in this case h3po4 converted into po4 3 minus means what did you, what did uh, what did we get that is it replace it uh, there is a release of 3 h plus ion take place now in this case we will write equivalent mass is equal to molecular mass upon 3 this is the correct statement so what we say equivalent mass vary as per the situation similarly when h2so4 completely convert into so4 two minus then in this case equivalent mass of h2so4 is equal to molecular mass upon 2 because there is there is two replaceable hydrogen it releases two h plus ion but when h2so4 converts into hso4 minus then what will happen i'm not considering the equilibrium situation then what will happen in this case equivalent mass is equal to molecular mass upon 1 why because h2so4 release only one h plus ion so as per the situation by giving the example we can now easily predict that equivalent mass changes as per the situation but molecular mass always remains same now if anyone ask you how to find the equivalent mass of base equivalent mass of base as we know for example if i write koh if i consider caoh hall twice if i consider aloh hall thrice these all are bases because they cont uh, because they contain hydroxyl ion so in this case the equivalent mass of base will be equal to molecular mass of base upon n n is here n is number of replaceable oh minus ion or you can say n is acdt acdt means number of replaceable oh minus ion if i consider ca oh hall twice so what will be the value of equivalent mass molecular mass upon 2 there are two replaceable hydroxyl ion 
am i right yes sir you are absolutely right here these are the things you uh, maximum number of questions are asked from uh, this topic uh, this topic covers 12 chapter solution uh, mole concept as well as volumetric analysis okay yes sir now the next one the next one is if anyone ask you how to find the equivalent mass of a salt salt we know when acid base combine they form salt and water for example if i write na2co3 if i consider na2so4 if i consider uh, nacl they, these are salts now how to find the equivalent mass of a salt equivalent mass is equal to molecular mass upon total number of positive charge or total number of negative charge suppose if i take this one Na2CO3 it will change into 2Na plus plus CO3 2 minus that is total positive charge is 2 or total negative charge is 2. So, in case of Na2CO3 the equivalent mass is molecular mass upon 2. If I consider NaHCO3 then what will happen it will break like this Na plus plus HCO3 minus in this case equivalent mass is equal to molecular mass upon 1. Am I right? Yes sir you are absolutely right. These are the thing. Now, next one the equivalent mass of reducing isn't equivalent mass of reducing is a or oxidizing isn't. How to find the equivalent mass of oxidizing as well as reducing isn't? In this case, what we need to do? Yes, for example, for equivalent mass in this case equivalent mass is equal to molecular mass upon change in oxidation state or molecular mass upon total electron lost or gained. How? How? These are the method, three methods are there that is available oxygen method available oxygen method second one is electron gain or lost method these are the method and the third one is that is oxidation number method Suppose if I take an oxidizing agent, I am taking an example K2Cr2O7 in acidic medium. How to find the equivalent mass in this situation? Yes, sir, it is very simple. Now, K2Cr2O7 in acidic medium converted into in acidic medium H2SO4, take it, it form K2SO4 then Cr2SO4 whole thrice plus H2O plus nascent oxygen. Now balance them K2 two times put here uh, 4, put here 4 and put here 3. Am I right? Yes sir, you are absolutely right. So the available oxygen is 3O. So in this case equivalent mass of K2Cr2O7 is equal to molecular mass is 294 upon available oxygen, oxygen mass 16, 16, 48 multiply by 8 that is 294 upon 6 that will be equal to 49. These are the simple thing. Similarly, this is oxygen, available oxygen method. Second one in ionic form Cr2O7 2 minus plus H plus it converts into 2 Cr3 plus plus 7 H2O plus 14 H plus. Now in this case to balance we need 6 electron. So again equivalent mass tell me that is the molecular mass mm upon the uh, gain in uh, uh, gain in electron gain total gain mm upon 6 that is 294 upon 6 again we get 49 these are the method to find again oxidation number method uh, pardon oxidation number the cr207 plus 14 h plus it gives 2 cr3 plus plus 7 h2o 
am i right my friend yes sir you are absolutely right now in this case look at uh, one uh, chromium converted plus 6 to plus 3 total decrease in oxidation state that will be 3 into 2 6 because there is 2 chromium so again equivalent mass is equal to molecular mass upon 6 that is equal to 294 upon 6 is equal to 49 by using this 3 method you can easily find the uh, equivalent mass of any oxidizing agent one more thing you have to consider whether it is in acidic medium whether it is in basic that is alkaline medium or whether it is in neutral medium clear i have discussed the things how to find the equivalent mass definitely it will be it will help you all practice this question thank you so much